Hey guys, welcome back to Drift Gaming It's D. And today we're gonna be making something that I don't know why I have waited so long to do it, and that's the S Nissan S14 Drift build. And as you can see now, we are in the or Nissan S14, we are in an S15 rather, but our objective really is to to get to the festival and and try the thing out because. For some reason, it didn't really appear in my garage uh, till pretty late after completing the Force of Thunder event. I don't know if it was because I was uh, playing online, I mean, with no Xbox Gold or so, anything like that, so... I mean, I'm not really sure. But now we finally have it, so... We're gonna go ahead and get it. And, whoop. And I, I probably should have done a drift build for this car because it's actually pretty good. Although I'm not really happy with the tire width on the rear. I mean, I think we're running the stock size. And that really isn't really helping with the grip. But I mean, it slides pretty well. Oh. Coming through. Oh shit. Well, that wasn't really a, a very fancy entrance. But we're finally here. So let's just get started with this. And there it is. Isn't that beautiful? Because I think so. I mean, I know we have a new DLC where <clears throat> it comes with the Nissan S14 cookie version, but I don't really like the modifications that you can do to the to the actual car. So yeah, I'm not really keen on on getting it. And well, we have some Rocket Bunny body kit, but to be fair, I don't really like it. I think it's not really... I mean, I don't know, for some reason I just don't really find it really good. I mean, I'm pretty sure that we want the wheels to get, you know, wider, so it drifts better, but... Um, I think I'm actually gonna go with the regular aero parts, since they look better in my opinion, and Forza has just patched the glitch where you can kind of swap the bumpers with the body kit and things like that. So, I mean, it's kind of a shame. It's the only thing that was uh, really good about body kits in this game. I mean, aside from the body kits itself, but for those that do not look good, I think it's better to... Well, you get the point. So, actually, I think I'm going to go with this one. I mean, I'm, I know it looks kind of 2000s uh, riser, but... You know, it kind of reminds me of the old Need for Speed Underground games. So I think we're gonna go for that, and it's something different. So, well, I think we'll do the the wing the last. So let's see for bumpers. And actually, this one looks pretty good already. So is this one. Um, I'm not too sure about that one. This one I don't like. Uh, Nissan has another bumper. Oh, that was pretty interesting. And this one, I don't know. I mean, they're all pretty chunky, you know. But I think I'm gonna go with that one, with the last one. Or maybe this one. I mean, I like the I can decide how they fall. But I'm not sure. Yes, we'll go for this one. I know it's probably pretty ugly and ricey, but it's a fucking drift build, so I don't really care. And as far as side skills go, um. I usually not a big fan of how side scares look, and as you can see, we don't really have all the parts lined up perfectly. But I think I'm gonna go with this one. I mean, it's subtle, but definitely suits the car. Maybe not. I mean, this one is bigger and actually kind of fits um, with the overall body kit, but. Mm. Uh, I'm probably gonna regret this because I don't really like this side skirt, but I, I don't know. Well, yeah, we'll go for it. No. Uh, yes, we'll get this one. It's better to save than sorry. So, now for the spoilers. And I mean, actually, these bumpers make the, the Nissan Silvia back really like chubby for some reason. I don't know. And I really like this spoiler. I think it goes pretty well with the car. I mean, it was designed by Nissan, so I guess they had that in mind. And I don't really like the the lip spoiler from Rocket Bunny, so we go for holy shit. We could go like full riser kind of 
aesthetic, but I'm not really sure because I also like the kind of Supra style wing. And from, this thing is very tall, I, I don't like that one. But this one is really cool. Actually, I don't know. Hmm. I think I'm gonna go for that one. Yes, because, I don't know, maybe we come back later for it. And now that we are here, why not we just slap some rims here and let's see, I don't know what type of rims I want to have this thing and I think I just went into the like drag car kind of rims. So yeah, pretty, I don't think we're gonna get anything from here. Although, hmm, there are some pretty good looking ones. Actually, and oh my god, I mean, I'm just noticing that the camera in this thing is like fucking positive and it doesn't really look good at all. I mean, we're gonna be changing that as soon as we can. So, no, I don't think we're gonna get anything from here, and I guess we'll go for the classic kind of rim style. And I don't really know what to get on this thing. I mean, rim style is always the, the most difficult part, at least for me. And I don't know, because I mean, I feel like Forza has um, um, lesser kind of variety of rims than let's say Need for Speed, although the number of rims in Forza is bigger than in Need for Speed, but Need for Speed had like more kind of styles and some rims that I really like, especially the race um, kind of rims in Need for Speed they were so much more and much better, but I don't know, but actually I don't really know what to get in this thing, hmm, maybe this one? Yeah, we'll go for that one, why not? So, yeah, now that we're here, we may just um, as well, like, arm the size of these tires. I mean, I don't want, like, massive size. Because I found uh, that drifting with, you know, this the, the regular sizes a bit more in intricate. I don't know. I just prefer it. And I think we should make the rims actually bigger, but they look kind of skinny, actually. I mean, I don't know. And oh my god, the camera is just killing me. We have to upgrade that um, right away. So we'll do all the clutch and transmission things first, as always. I mean, it's the most important thing when you're building a drift car or any car, really. I mean, if you can save uh, fast, you have uh, pretty much the, the edge on whatever you're doing. And as far as brakes go, I don't think I want the race brakes. And I think we go for the rally suspension in order to have like the m more drifting lock, well, steering lock. I don't know if that thing really still works in this game. I mean, I hope it does, since it's pretty much like a Forza Horizon 2 with like the, the you know, the handling tweaked and things like that. So I don't know. And do we want a roll cage? I mean, it adds quite a lot of weight but I guess this will make it stable so yeah we may as well go for it and just go full on weight reduction so I don't know yeah why not this uh, fucking drift car we need the weight reduction bro so now let's go for engine and I mean uh, we don't really have much I mean we have quite a lot of torque for what this thing is and I don't know how many horsepower that is. I mean, I still don't know why Forza doesn't allow us to use like kilometers per hour and horsepower uh, readings in the game. Because actually, I'm not really familiar with kilowatts. Uh, in my country, uh, we drive in like kilometers per hour and use horsepower as uh, the units for the cars. But uh, I don't know. It's pretty weird. The Forza uh, just keeps doing that. So actually, we're going. Pretty high on power right now, and do I want to upgrade the turbo? I think I want, I I do, but we're not gonna go very over top with it, over the top. But yeah, just enough to to play it safe, you know. And I think I pretty much did everything, and I don't know if I want to. Yeah. So I mean, this should be it. And actually, I really want to change the paint job of this thing, so... 
we'll just go ahead and you know get a, a, a design even though I probably will erase it later and do my own but since really I don't really have time to do a uh, completely design for this car uh, we'll just you know get ourselves one so okay so here we have our Nissan Silvia and it's looking better than I thought it would with this body kit um, and really the, the paint of it's really awesome as well I mean it looks good so whoa 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 hold still lady so let's go ahead and tune this thing up because we need to lower this thing and stiffen everything pretty much so this just uh, I'm the, <clears throat> the the pressure on the tires and actually uh, I don't want to touch the gearbox just yet and holy shit it goes pretty fast 33.7 three, three kilometers an hour for the drift car I mean, uh, I don't know what we have built, guys, but I'm fearing the worst for this thing. So, I mean, I think that's all. I'm gonna get it like that, and the anti roll bars need to be calibrated just a bit. I think they'll work. Well, maybe just a bit softer, and okay. And I mean, one thing I don't like about ready suspension is really the, the stiffness of the springs. You can not really go very stiff with them. And I mean, that's a big problem for drift cars. I mean, it's not really that noticeable, at least not in, uh, I don't know. I mean, basically because this is not a Forza Motorsport game, I mean, that doesn't really matter. But if you go with pretty soft suspension to like for the most Motorsport 6 and something like that, you can definitely feel the difference. And believe me it's pretty tough to to drift with uh, soft suspension I mean it's doable if you control the weight uh, transfer and things like that but I don't know it's just a personal preference and let's see if if this oh let I me mean, just drop and now it looks better I mean the offset of the wheels is pretty bad but you know it reminds me of the force of four days well basically this is a force of four car actually and I mean the paint of dude just looks amazing but we're not here to look at this car, we are here to see it shred and... Holy shit, I mean the gear is too short. Holy fuck. So... I mean, maybe we have too much power. I mean, we're fucking shredding full the gear. That's not my style. Oh, and it really lacks a lot of grip. So maybe uh, we should have upgraded tires instead of keeping the stock ones. I mean, I usually like to drift with the stock tires, but I usually drift uh, uh, lesser horsepower cars. And holy shit! Actually, I want to do a speed run with this thing instead of drifting. Oh, I mean, fourth gear seems really nailed. Once is holy shit! Whoop! Whoop! Shit! I mean, this thing is bollocks, really. It goes fast as hell. And it doesn't really want to break. I think this was a financial mistake. Really. We should have really bought uh, better brakes and better tires. Instead of just keeping this monster. So, actually I'm going to tune everything up. Just a bit. Uh, especially the... the um, where is it? The gearing. I mean, although this thing is not really that fast, going from zero to hundred kilometers an hour, this is like five seconds, point four, mm. and for some reason we just make this thing faster. And holy shit, I mean, this thing is really fast. Maybe we should add more weight to this car, and well, probably the tires just fix that. And oh, we were in third gear, so. I mean, this thing does burn out, no problem. I mean, I'm pressing down on the on the brakes as you can see and holy shit and yeah this thing doesn't really want to stop going so let's hope for the best I mean I think it's a bit better now Oop. I mean it definitely needs some grip so uh, if I use this card in the future I'm pretty sure I'm going to upgrade certain things about it 
first up we in the the tires because I mean this thing slides too much. I mean it doesn't really look that bad but it lacks a lot of control. But I mean so far it's it's decent. I mean I'm not really confident drifting it as to my other drift cars. I mean the Sylvia that we were using in the in the intro of the video, uh, it's definitely way better than this one. But again, I'm pretty sure I tuned that thing. I mean I I, I didn't think that it had that much horsepower. Maybe it had like I don't know, uh, 500, 400 horsepower, something between those lines. And this thing actually, I don't know how much horsepower this had, but it's definitely more than that. Or it feels that it has more. Maybe it's because it's lighter. I don't know. But actually, this is not a really good place to test a drift car because of the traffic and things like that. So, we're gonna go ahead and um, really just. Uh, fast travel to my favorite drift section which is actually this one although I think I just saw a, an undiscovered drift um, thing and I think it's that one hmm. so I mean that looks like a pretty good um, you know drift um, section so I'm gonna go on fast travel there so here we are guys and this looks promising. I mean, I actually think that I've tricked this part before when I was playing on my own. Uh, but, I mean, I didn't really have the, the drift section un unlocked, so let's see how this goes. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, we just screwed up big time. Holy shit. No, actually, I don't remember uh, drifting on this part. Or actually, do I? I don't, I don't know, but I mean, this thing is really a monster. I mean, it goes way too fast for me. I mean, we definitely need to get some tires in this thing. I mean, we didn't do really a bad score, but I'm not happy with this drift build. I mean, it's just the tires. Uh, what the fuck? I mean, I didn't really expect to to beat the like three stars in the first run with a car that I really like drifting. I mean, like, see, it just slides too much. It's really out of control, and well, this one, this time, it was a bit better. I think we got less score than in the first try, so I mean, this car is not really very consistent, but I really like the interior view. So I think I'm gonna touch um, a bit on the setup of this car and come back later. So, see you guys later. So, here we are again, and I just uh, slapped some race, well, uh, some sport tire compound to the rims and actually downgrade a few parts of this of this car, but we're actually rocking a pretty high numbers still. So let's let's see how this thing goes. And I just uh, fast travel to another drift location, and actually we are drifting in the rain, so this is not gonna really help us. But, I mean, it's gonna be like the ultimate test for a drift car. And actually, I fast traveled quite far away from the, the, the section I, was, I wanted to go, and here it is. Oh. Oh shit. I mean, it's, there's a lot of traffic in this back road in a rainy day. I mean, it's not something you would expect in real life. But, ah oh shit, I mean, this thing really would benefit from having a white boy. I mean, it doesn't do bad, but it could do better, if you know what I mean. Or maybe it's just a differential. I mean, I don't know, but I'm gonna see and actually 
lower the differential uh, torque to like 75 maybe and yeah let's see how that would go because I actually have a BMW M3 uh, that I, I drifted like, for quite a while with 75% uh, in the in the differential and it actually went pretty good so maybe this car will benefit from it I mean it's going okay so far Ooh, shit well I think I forgot to upgrade the brakes I mean, it seems that it goes slower this time. I mean, we're actually running uphill as well, but... I don't know, I just think it's kind of sloppy, you know, very choppy on the turns. And, I mean, let's see if changing the camera view helps us. I mean, it's not gonna do anything, but I just feel better doing it. So let's go ahead and give it a couple more runs and kind of make a conclusion of this car. It seems that there is no traffic now, so that's good for us. And why the fuck did I just say that? I mean, we were doing so well until that point. I mean, I think that crash really has ruined or or run actually. Oh, that was close. Whoop! Shit! Fucking traffic. Whoop! Yeah. Only for surprises, you can see a fucking Nissan Sylvia crashing into a tree and not have, and ha nothing happened to it. So, I don't know, I don't feel quite alright with the tuning we have in this car. Maybe it's just because I'm used to drift wide bodies all the time in Forza and they really make a difference since the track is actually wider. And, I don't know. Maybe it could even be the tires. Maybe I should have just like increased the size of the of the of the tires instead of changing the tire compound. I don't know. And I definitely want to work in this car for the future because it's got great potential. And we just went a bit on the outside and oh, we somewhat save it. And oh my god, I mean this thing grips a lot now. So maybe it's that. Maybe we need actually to. To go back to the start tire compound? I don't know. I mean, I'm not the best tuner out there. Maybe there's someone that can go work with this thing, but as far as it goes, I don't know. So let's just go one more time downhill and we'll call this a day. And holy shit, I mean, I'm losing normal points because of stupid things like that. I mean, I wish there was a way to turn off the traffic in Forza. I mean, at least the drivers, because the traffic cars are just not really that annoying, but the fucking drivers just are, I mean, they are everywhere, and they spawn where you are. Actually, to, just to, basically to fuck you around. I mean, I know we can always go online, but... It's just, I don't know. It's white water, right? I mean, in online there is worse people than drivers, drive actually. And the gearing is quite choppy in this setup but I mean it's doing all right it's not doing as good as I wanted to but I mean it's going so and I actually feel the need to go ahead and do it once more I mean maybe it's the rain that it's affecting the, the car as well but oh shit we stole it but I mean yeah now it has too much grip I mean I cannot find the middle uh, the the middle part where, where this car feels good. I mean, it's either too groovy or too loose. But that's definitely my fault.
Ah, so we managed to do a drift app for some reason. But, I mean, yeah, this thing needs a lot of tweaking, actually, so... I mean, I think we'll just end up today and... And I'll work on this myself to find, like, the best drifting setup, so... Oh, shit. So, yeah. Thanks for watching and see you guys in the next video. Keep tuned for more drift builds.